the most recent benchmark result named MRPR version 3.0 published last month. So the result officially demonstrated that our AI Rebellion's AI chip outperformed NVIDIA's same cloud GPU by more than three times on Vision AI model. More importantly, even compared to Qualcomm's AI chips, it's not GPU anymore, AI chip versus AI chip. It's apple to apple comparison. Our Rebellion's AI chip exhibits 80% faster compute delay on the language AI model. The point is, is why? Why we can better performance than NVIDIA's existing GPU? AI chip is optimized exclusively for AI computation, meaning unlike general purpose GPU, our AI chip is not able to handle any graphics workload, unfortunately. However, especially in terms of AI workload, we have much better energy efficiency, cost efficiency, sometimes better performance. So, and is your product cheaper than GPU? How do Definitely, you do that? Yes, because we don't need to handle any graphics workload. It's a very specialized AI hardware. Mm. So we don't need to cover all the workload. All, we can cover only for the AI workload. So in terms of design, test, everything, we are much cheaper than GPU. Plus operating cost, I mean, electronic bills, we are much better than existing GPUs. But Rebellions is not the only player in the sector. Uh, the Microsoft, point. AMD working together. How are you going to beat them in terms of financing and capacity? It sounds so great. So AI sector, we grow up. I mean, huge amount of the AI chip computation. It doesn't need to be, I believe each sector has its own market winner. For example, finance, Wall Street, it has AI chip winner. The later self-driving car is another market winner right there because the market is growing crazily. So we are targeting very specific latency critical AI application mm -hmm. like Wall Street, high frequent trading, and the KT here, the data center latency critical application like language model. Your commercialization starts actually later this month with the KT Cloud and mass production expected to start next year. I wonder if there have been any rejigging or readjustments that you needed to make because of the U.S. Chips and Science Act. So it's a very sensitive question. Yeah, <laughs> frankly, we don't yet any direct impact mm -hmm. from the Chips Act from the United States, but some indirect impact because like we what? we can't partner with the Chinese server company anymore. So cost a little bit higher, mm -hmm. but it's, it may be kind of opportunity as well. We can, we don't need to compete the Chinese company when we targeting the East, Southeast Asia, Japan market and the United States market. So frankly, don't know yet it's the opportunity or risk, but yes, our, our, so far, so good. We don't need to readjust our strategy and the product planning.